Dear Rivermont family, it's a great joy for me to share with you about looking to Christ uh, to help us overcome ministry fatigue and relational stress. So much of what we do as we think about ministry is we're allowing uh, a focal point to be our Savior. For when you feel overwhelmed, we remember Christ and His grace. When you feel alone, we remember Christ and his family. When you feel sad, we remember Christ and his mercy. When you feel uncertain, you remember Christ and his call. And yet, there's something so profound in this process is that there is a call, when we see it in Romans chapter 8, that God is in the business of conforming us into the image of his Son. And so what motivates us to be about ministry, what motivates us to overcome uh, compassion fatigue, is the fact that we are becoming more like Jesus Christ. And Jesus is giving us this new command. You know the command from John 13, verses 34 and 35. This new commandment that he gives us, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also are to love one another. By this, all people will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. We realize that to be like Jesus means that we will be a people of godly love. Godly love gives sacrificially. Loving like Jesus means we hold everything we own with loose hands. We are willing to part with our time and our money, possessions, in order to serve those around us. We recognize that all we have is on loan to us from our Father in heaven, and we are responsible uh, for what we do with what he has given us. We give people what they need within our own power to do so. We see a brother or sister in need and we have resources that could help. We are to share what we have with them. And that includes our time and what we have. Now, Jesus was undiscriminating in the way he loved. He warned us that it's easy to love those who are like us. But Jesus loved even his enemies and expects his followers to do the same. He healed, he fed, he ministered to many who would later cry, crucify him. He washed the feet of Judas Iscariot, knowing that within hours Judas would betray him. To love like Jesus means that we cannot be selective in how we treat people. James strongly condemns favoritism based on financial or social status. For he says in James 2.9, But if you show favoritism, you sin and are convicted by the law as a transgressor. We must work to rid our hearts of racial prejudice, of socioeconomic divide, and religious superiority. None of that belongs in the life of someone who wants to love like Jesus. Now we must not equate love with complete acceptance of anything someone does. Jesus did not tolerate sin, deception, or false followers. He was painfully direct when others would say that they claim to love him, but love their lives more. So we need to be very, very careful that we love others by telling them the truth. We do not want to love people by watering down the gospel that could save them. That's not true love at all. Rather, we speak the truth in, in love and show them the way of the cross. Another way though, we love is by forgiveness. We forgive when we've been wronged, our selfishness wants us to hang on to the wound, cherishing it, cradling it, uh, reliving it. But Jesus forgave and he calls us to forgive as well. And as we forgive, we are able to love others and to overcome compassion fatigue. Again, Jesus told his disciples that the primary way that the world would know uh, that they were his was by their love for one another. If we love Jesus, then we will love what he loves, which is people. And as we practice loving like he loved, we become more like him. By God's grace, we overcome ministry fatigue, relational stress. Right when we think we can't, we remember our affirmation of faith. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his, his power that is at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. Please pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much that you have called us to be your sons and daughters, and in, in that call, you want us to be conformed into the image of your Son, a Son who loves sacrificially, a Son who gives us the new command to love one another. Oh, Father, help us as we become more like Jesus to love and to let that be our witness.
It's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Dear family of God, may the Lord bless you and keep you this day and forevermore. Amen.